So you could have a cube, if you owned all the gold in the world, you could have a cube that would be 67 or 68 feet uh, on a side. And you could get a ladder and you could climb up on top of it and you could say, you know, I'm sitting on top of the world and, you know, and think you're king of the world. You could, you know, you could fondle it, you could polish it, you could, you could do all these things with it, stare at it. But it isn't going to do anything. No, it's, all you are doing when you buy that is that you're hoping that somebody else a year from now or five years from now will pay you more to own something that, it, again, can't do anything, but you're hoping that the person then thinks that somebody else will buy something five years later from him. In other words, you're betting on not just how scared people are now of paper money. You're betting on how much they think a year from now people will be scared two years from then on. The third cat category of asset is something that you value based on its on its what it will produce, what it will deliver. You buy a farm because you expect a certain amount of corn or soybeans or cotton or whatever it may be to be to come your way every year. And you decide how much you pay based on how much you think the asset itself will deliver over time. And those are the assets that appeal to me and Charlie. Now there's some logical follow on to that. If you buy that farm and you really think about how many bushels of corn, how many bushels of soybeans will it produce, how much do I have to pay the tenant farmer, how much do I have to pay in taxes, and so on. You can make a rational calculation, and the success of that investment will be de determined in your own mind by whether it meets your expectations as to what it delivers. Logically, you should not care whether you get a quote on that farm a day later, or a week later, or a month later, or a year later. We feel the same way about businesses. When we buy Iscar, or we buy Lubrizol, or whatever, we don't run around getting a quote on it every week and say, you know, is it up or down or anything like that. We look to the business. We feel the same way about securities. When we buy a marketable security, we don't care if the stock exchange closes for a few years. So when we look at Berkshire, we are looking at what we think can be delivered from the productive assets that we own and how we can utilize that capital in acquiring more productive assets.